In my first episode, I prepared my Enduro electric bike to register it as a moped. I added all the required lights and filled it in all of the necessary documents. Then I waited for an answer. After an exciting wait, the long-awaited letter finally arrives in the mailbox. Uh, I was uh, shocked when I read it. They found that my vehicle was made of spare parts. I asked them, what is considered a spare part? Answer, spare parts are all parts that can be purchased and not manufactured, manufactured by the vehicle owner. What brand or model the part is made for, it's not relevant in this case. You have pierced together the vehicle that and it cannot consider it as self-manufactured. <laughs> this is a bizarre statement. How is it possible to build a bike when one is not allowed to buy any part that categorizes as a spare part? They discovered that the vehicle built of my frame was similar to another Enduro frame bike that they found on the internet and it was uh, in mass production. In other words, according to law, appearance of the vehicle may not differ from the appearance of a factory-made vehicle. They had uh, stumbled on the Enduro Adderall model. The internet is full of different bikes made on Enduro frame. In accordance with 77 of the Traffic Act, the road administration refuses to register a vehicle if it is manufactured from spare parts. So my moped registering process ends here. In the end, the law is quite hostile and old, full of bureaucratic traps. For me, it doesn't mean much. I can legally drive 25 km per hour and the uh, motor is limited to 1000 watts, which I have done more or less anyway when I travel long distances. Some food for thought here that in different European countries the requirements for moped register vary a lot. In some countries they are simply uh, simpler, in other they are completely incomprehensible. So how do you register a self-made moped in Estonia? First, the frame must be welded by you and it must not similar to a mass-produced vehicle. In other words, self-made, uh, self self-welded frame is not subject to requirements and spare parts may be used. The braking system should be taken from a mass-produced vehicle. That means you have to find a moped and take the braking system out of it. It's very difficult, the moped brakes are hard to wind, at least here in Estonia. The vehicle that you take the braking system from must be in the same weight category as the self-made vehicle. To, be, to put it another way, if you prepare a vehicle that weighs 70 kilos, you also need to find a braking system from a vehicle with the same weight. After uh, browsing around in forums, my impression is that that the people working in the road administration are quite close-minded, so to say, and don't really like to approve vehicles, if they don't like something. So, I mean, do I really want to go that road because the risks are high and the registration process is completely bureaucratic mess? Change is needed. Rapid development of technology is constantly, uh, constantly speeding up, but it feels like it's still Stone Age here in Estonia in those terms. We have a large selection of existing braking systems that are made for heavy electric bikes. Some famous brands like Tektra, Shimano, Makura, totally unacceptable.